alcohol is often at the center of our good times and the guests of honor at our celebrations. But there's another side to this story, one that's not talked about as we cheer and unwind. Alcohol doesn't just give you a hangover. According to the International Agency for Research on Cancer, which is a part of WHO, it's also a group 1 carcinogen, sitting in the same category as tobacco and asbestos. It's linked to a lineup of cancers, including breast, colorectal, liver, esophageal, mouth, throat, and laryngeal. So while each drink might seem like just a part of fun, there is more going on beneath the surface. The risk of these cancers increases with the amount of alcohol consumed over time. When alcohol breaks down, it turns into acetaldehyde, a toxic chemical that can damage our DNA and prevent it from being repaired. This kind of damage is like leaving the door open for cancer to walk right in. The more you drink, the more you're rolling out the red carpet for potential harm. Moreover, alcohol generates reactive oxygen species, which can lead to cancer by causing DNA damage, promoting mutations, and disrupting normal cellular functions. And here's the kicker. It even impairs the body's ability to break down and absorb a variety of nutrients that may be protective against cancer, such as antioxidants and B vitamins, particularly folic acid or B9. Certain types of cancer, such as breast cancer in women and colorectal cancer in men, appear more sensitive to the effects of alcohol consumption. Based on a meta-analysis, even light drinking, defined as one drink a day, which equates to about 10 grams of ethanol, can mildly increase the risk of these cancers. To put that into perspective, enjoying a bottle of wine over the weekend could carry the same cancer risk as smoking 10 cigarettes for women and 5 for men.